Not only will Blue not eat until the glove is associated with the experience, but glove training him and doing it properly while exposing him to other experiences like cleaning his water dish, misting his cage, even petting him, which I normally don't do on his basking spot. Leave your monitors alone on their basking spots. Make it a safe place. They'll be comfortable out in the open. They'll trust you more. And when they're on their basking spot, it provides you an opportunity to do cage maintenance without them even worrying about your presence. Such as, I can pump my water mister here right in front of him. Fast movement. No response. He hasn't seen the yellow glove. He knows this isn't food. Even if he had never been exposed to it before, he may investigate what I'm doing, investigate the new item, but he knows it's not food. So any of that fast movement that would normally entice any reptile, completely ignored. So I can mist his cage even give him a drink here. Thirsty blue? No. Not today. I'm thirsty? No. He's mad at the mister. He wants to heat up. But I can mist his cage. And you hear that? It's loud. It hisses at him. He's on his basking spot. That's his safe place. That hiss isn't going to bug him. Even when this was brand new, I got no negative response from blue for using it. See, I'm even waving the end of it right there in his face. I miss this cage once a week because he has a fogger, so I keep the humidity up really well. The fogger would maintain the humidity all on its own, but every now and then I give him a humidity spike. Because, you know, there's monsoons in Africa. The spike in the humidity is really healthy for his skin. But yeah, glove training techniques. Without the glove, even wiping the glass, I usually use a red or other colored rag. So he's gonna check this one out and be like, what is that one? But I can wave my hand around as fast as I want in front of his face with no response. Glove training. No glove, no food. Happy lizard. Cleaning, maintenance, everything. Easier.